Also, guys, I forgot to mention, I did not make this artwork or this design of my FIFA 22 top 50 players. No, I just told this designer, if you guys want to check him out, LazyFoot, LazyFoot on Twitter, his link to his Twitter will be in the description. So please go check him out. He's a beast. He made, he made this design as you guys can see in your guys' screen. He's an absolute legend. He hooked me up with this design. So go show him some love. Go drop him a follow on his Twitter. And if you guys want designs... Or any football designs as well. Go show my boy some love and go, go DM him. I'm pretty sure that he'll make some designs for you guys. Just go DM him, man. Hell yeah. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Lester back with another video. I hope you guys, I hope all of you guys watching this video are, are having an awesome day. And today what I have for you guys is on the top 50 or my predictions on the top 15 players of FIFA 22. Yes, the next FIFA. Everyone is asking themselves, who's going to be the top 15 players? Well, I'm going to give you guys my prediction. Let me know what you guys think about these um, ratings or yeah, uh, if you guys agree with mine. If you guys disagree with mine, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, man, if you guys are not subscribed already, like I said, man, it's not. When you so before you hit that sub button, it doesn't say $199, $299, $399. It says it's free. You just need to hit that red sub button and just subscribe to Let's People 10. Turn on those notices so you guys won't miss any videos on my channel. And drop a like because it does really help out my it really helps out my videos and my channel as well. But hey, we're gonna start off from Casemiro to, all the way to Lionel Messi. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, man. But hey, starting off with Carlos Enrique Casemiro, the guy from La Celeste Sound, the guy from Real Madrid. I as you guys can see, it has a minus, so that means it means um so that means it's going to stay the same. When it has plus and green, that means um they're gonna go up. And if they have red. Oh yeah, the red minus that means they're gonna go down by rating. But hey, to start um to start the video off, Carlos Enrique Casemiro. I think he had a great season overall with Real Madrid, great Copa America with Brazil, great um yeah, just a great season overall with Real Madrid. So I don't think he will um lower his rating or upper his rating. But hey, I think he will just stay right there at 89, like how he was in FIFA 21. And yeah, nothing much to talk about Carlos Enrique Casemiro, man. He he's just a beast player, man. He is just a freaking tank in the middle of the park. He's just a freaking tank, an absolute beast. So yeah, um, I think EA will keep his rating the same as um FIFA 21 89. But on to Kimmich, man. On to Kimmich. Kimmich had a brilliant, brilliant campaign with Bayern Munich in um in their Bundesliga title. And yeah, but he had a great Champions League as well. And he had a great Euros. He he. He was an extraordinary player for both Germany and Bayern last season. So I believe that EA will rise his rating up by one. That's my prediction. By one. Let me know if you guys think they might rise it up by two. But I don't know, man. But this Kimmich, I'm telling you guys, this Kimmich is an absolute baller. Kimmich is just a freaking baller, man. But yeah, on to the next one. I think we know this one, but I don't know if EA are going to do it. But hey, Bruno Fernandes. Oh yeah, I mean, EA have to do it, right? Because he had an extraordinary... Extraordinary season with Man United. Bruno Fernandes. He had a great season with Man United. Like I said, the Euros weren't the best of his season at all. He disappeared in the Euros, man. For all for um for my Man United fans watching, he disappeared in the Euros. Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell happened to Bruno Fernandes in the Euros? I don't know. But yeah, he had an extraordinary season. He was a beast, assist, goals here and there. So I believe that EA will rise his rating up by two. Let me know if you guys agree with that as well. So we will. So we will. Um, we should expect to see an 89 Bruno for FIFA 22. And yeah, on to the next one. Virgil Van Dijk VVD. After that injury, man, he hasn't been the same. I believe he hasn't played a single game after that injury. After that um, Pickford injury, when they both crashed. Oh yeah, when Pickford crashed him with the knee. So yeah, I mean they're not gonna lower down his rating too much. I believe. Just one minus one, just because he hasn't played the whole season. But hey, I think he's gonna come back this season and that. And I think he's going to rip it with Liverpool. I think he's actually going to rip it with Liverpool, man. So, hey. But, yeah. On to the next one. Neuer. Neuer, Neuer, Neuer. Uh, Alongside with Kimmich. They have been extraordinary for Germany and Bayern Munich. Neuer, Neuer, Neuer. What a player, man. What a player. What a what a goalie. And, yeah, man. This man had an extraordinary season as well with Bayern Munich. Saving Bayern every time. In the Champions League. Had a great Euros as well. Had, had an all right year, I would say not a great one, but an all right. But yeah, he is still Germany's number one keeper. Bayern still number one keeper. So hey, I would. He was at 89, FIFA 21. I believe that EA are going to put that notch just a little bit higher, just by, by one rating. And we should be. um ex, or We should expect to see a 99 for FIFA 22, man. Hell yeah. 
I think. Oh yeah, as you guys can see on your guys' screen, my prediction is that EA will bump his rating by two. By two. Because he had a good season with Tottenham. I yo, he was the golden boot winner for the Premier League last season, right? If I'm not mistaken. He was the Premier League golden boot winner. He I think he ended up with 22 goals. 22 goals. He was just a beast. A beast at striker. I don't know where he'll end up going to. Man City. I don't know, man. Who knows? But yeah, he had a great Euros as well. Um, scoring goals with, versus Ukraine. And um versus um think Czech Republic if my mind doesn't if my mind is not wrong. And he just had a great year and went to the final, of course. He had a big involvement in, he had a big involvement in goals all over the year. So yeah, he was an 88 FIFA 21. I believe that he'll be a 90 FIFA 22. But yeah, man, on to the next one, boys. Mohamed Salah. As you guys can see, I think that people will give him the same 90 as he has right now in FIFA 21. But yeah. He just had a he didn't have a bad season. As you guys know, Liverpool weren't Liverpool didn't have their best season, like of course, but Salah was still banging in goals. Was it Salah like the joint top score with Harry Kane? No, wait, yeah, what I think he was right. Salah was a joint top scorer. He had a great season scoring goals for Liverpool and Egypt, I believe. And yeah, man, he didn't have a bad season. He didn't have a best season. But hey, I believe that EA was gonna be like, hey, Salah, he didn't have a great season or a bad. He just had a decent season. So hey, let's just keep his rating as 90, man. But hey, on to the next one, ladies and gentlemen. This man, Karim Benzema, returning with the national team of France and banging in goals with this man had a banging, banging, banging season with Real Madrid, banging in goals left and right, banging in goals in France when he returned in the Euros. He scored against Portugal twice, that battle against Ronaldo in the game. He scored against Portugal. He scored against um Switzerland, if my mind is right. And yeah, I man, he just had a great season. Everyone thought that he was finished, but no, he's banging in goals left and right, like I said. And yeah, we, um oh yeah, I think that EA will bump his rating by one, just by one. He had an 89 in FIFA 21. Now, I think we should, we should be seeing a 90 or a, maybe a 91. I think I might be wrong, but hey, we should be seeing an upgrade on Benzema, definitely. But hey, on to the next one, man. For this one, I need to take out my face cam and my, um, let's take out my face cam and I need to, wait, hold on, man. Yep, for this one, I need to take out my face cam and I need to take out the freaking logo, right? Yep, and, I, or just my face cam, but yeah. John Oblak, as you guys keep, bro. John Oblak, as you guys can see there, I... I'm predicting that EA are gonna leave him at 91. I think he should be up at like one or two. I think I'm wrong in this one, man. But I said that Oblak, oh yeah, I predicted that EA were gonna leave Oblak at 91. I mean, he won La Liga with Atletico de Madrid. Don't get me wrong. He had an extraordinary season as well. He had a beast, beast season with Atletico, the La, the La Liga champions. Um, and yeah, but he had a good run in the Champions League as well. Good saves here and there. But I think that EA were. I think EA are going to be like, nah, let's just leave Oblak at here. I know he had a good season, but I don't know, man. Yo, I might be wrong. He might upgrade by one or two because he had it because they won the Liga. I'm not sure, man, but I'm, I'm predicting they're going to leave at the same right there. But yeah, man, on to the next one. Time to take out the face cam and the image as well. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, I predict that, that EA were going to leave him the same as well. I predict. I am predicting that he are gonna leave him the same as well, man. He didn't have a bad season with the man with Man City. Of course, Man City won the Premier League, but I mean, he didn't have a he didn't have his best best season, like you know, like a like the best best season ever, man. No, he had an all right season, I guess. I mean, I don't really watch too much Man City football, so I just predict that he was gonna stay the same. Ninety one is not too bad of a rating. Like I said, I might be wrong here as well. I think they're going to give him a plus one. Maybe plus two? I don't know. Maybe plus one. He had a great Euros. Um, people were scared that he was going to miss out the Euros after he got that injury. I think it was one week or two weeks. I can't really remember. But yeah, man. I might be totally wrong in this one as well. Just like Oblock. But hey, let's just see what EA do. But my prediction is plus. I mean, it's the same rating, 91. And on to the next one. Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe, man. I'm predicting that Kylian Mbappe is going to get a plus one for free for 22. Ah, yeah, Mbappe, man. What a beast for France. He's a monster for France. I mean, he didn't have a great Euros, but he's still a beast, man. He's already a World Cup winner at just 22. And with PSG, he had a great Champions League as well. He had a great Champions League, man. He's keep banging goals here and there. I know that PSG didn't win the league on, but he was just a... He was, he was still a beast this season, man. He was still an absolute baller. Scoring goals here and there. Some skill moves. Juking everyone. Just showing what Mbappe can do. Showing the world what he can do, I mean. And yeah, I think that EA were going to bump up his rating just by one. 
Just by one. But on to the next one, Neymar. Neymar. Neymar, man. Neymar is one of those players that feel that he, he decided when he's going to show up. In the Copa America, he had a great Copa America, don't get me wrong about that. But in PSG, we don't really see him... We don't really we don't really see him do the things that he used to do in Barca, man. I mean, of course he's gonna juke defenders here and there because PSG is a farmers league. <laughs> but yeah, man, Neymar just I don't know, man. I think they're gonna keep Neymar there. I think Mbappe and Neymar will be tied at rating. Um, but yeah, man. Um, I think Neymar hasn't showed the world what he can do. I, I know he can do hella more than he already shows the world. But hey, let's just see what EA do. I might be wrong again here. I, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm, my freaking um, I might be wrong in here as well, man. But hey. Yeah, man, let's just get him in. Um, on to the next one, guys. Robert Lewandowski. Robert Lewandowski, man. The top scorer for Bayern this season. What a beat. I think he broke Gerard Müller's record, right, for the most goals in Bundesliga history. So he broke the record from the most goals in Bundesliga history. And yeah, man, I think that you're going to give him a plus one. He had a great, great season with Bayern Munich. Like I said, in the Euros, he was the only one carrying, um, um, what's that country, yo? <laughs> Poland. And yeah, man, Lewandowski should get a plus one, but let's just see what happened with EA. And Ronaldo. Ronaldo, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys know, Ronaldo's a 92 in FIFA, 21. He should be getting an upgrade. He should be getting an upgrade as well. He had a great season with Juventus. I think he was the top scorer for League 1. I mean, not League 1, Serie A. Um, yeah, he was the top scorer for Serie A. And he's just a baller, man. <laughs> you have to enjoy Messi and Ronaldo when they, before they retire. But yeah, bro, he had a great year as well. Bang, banging in goals, um... Against Hungary, right? He scored a hat trick against Hungary, if I'm not mistaken. A, a hat trick or doblete, I don't know. Two goals or a hat trick, but hey, they should bump his rating by one, if I'm not mistaken. And on to the big boy. The final, the final player for the video, man. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi, man. I think they're going to bump his rating pl plus one as well. Messi is going to be the most highest rated in FIFA 21. Okay, chat. Okay, guys, I mean. Messi is going to be the highest rated player in FIFA 20. I mean, not FIFA 21, FIFA 22. He's going to be the highest rated player in FIFA 22 with a 94. He had a brilliant season with Barca like always. He's always carrying Barcelona. He won the Copa America. And yeah, man. He's just having... Messi is the best player in the world, man. In my opinion, Messi should always, always be the highest rated player in every FIFA. It don't matter what FIFA it is. But he should always be the highest rated player. But yeah. But yeah, man. Like I said, Messi should always be the high, the highest rated player in every in any FIFA. But yeah, man, that will be the end of today's video, man. Though that was the end of my predictions. Oh yeah, these are my top 15 players. As you guys can see, FIFA 22 top 15 players, and as you guys can see, that is my prediction of Oblock and Kevin De Bruyne. Just because you guys couldn't see it with my face cam on and my face cam overlay. But hey, those are my predictions. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with them. If you guys disagree. If you guys think that. Ronaldo should be the highest rated player in FIFA. I don't know, man. Let me know if you guys disagree or agree. But other than that, it's been your boy Lester. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell so you guys won't miss any videos. And drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. And do all that sexy stuff because it really helps out your boy out. So, hey, this was my FIFA 22 top 15 players. And other than that, man, it's been your boy Lester. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.